Boom! What is up, Wanderers? We are back. And today we have an unboxing and first impressions video on a holy grail bag that I was finally able to order from Japan. So the concept, right? Holy grail bag, one that you're not sure if you're ever going to get your hands on. It's been sold out for a long time. It's got a new stock all up on the website in three different colors. And we're talking about the Flyers 70XX from Harvest Label. Boom. Just came in from Japan. I pulled it out. You and I are going to look at it for the first time together right now. Harvest Label uh, shipped in this really cool kind of ruck bag that is reusable. Um, so that's a nice touch. It is uh, nylon, lightweight. That's cool. This is cooler. Oh man. What? Look at this thing. It is gorgeous. All right, so first impressions are really good. The bag is a lot heavier than I expected. Um, they listed at three pounds, um, and I, yeah, it feels, it looks small. It feels substantial. The, it stands up on its own. The whole entire bottom part here, I'm feeling already, is reinforced and stabilized. They've got some um, plates built into the bottom to keep the shape of the bag. That's really nice. So first impressions, I love that. I love the colorway. Looks great. Check out the really light padded white um, airflow panels on the back. All right, so we're gonna do a full review on this bag, but I wanna go ahead and uh, explore it a little bit with you today. So we've got uh, kind of the defining feature of this bag. This is made out of the same nylon that they use for bomber jackets. Um, it's very military inspired. The defining feature is clearly the external pockets. You got two pockets up top here, kind of uh, traditional AirPods sized. So I'll be interested to see what I end up carrying in those. Then you've got a hook and loop pocket here, mesh backed with two snaps. Then you've got a zip pocket down here, mesh backed. You have a hook and loop panel right here. Nice. Um, this pocket, let's see, how do we open this one? You've got hook and loop again with a snap up top. Okay. So a slip-in pocket here and a drop-in pocket behind it, again with a mesh back. Then you've got a snap on this zipper and you pull it down the middle here and you can see the whole thing is kind of designed to resemble not only a bomber jacket but kind of a, a vest. Imagine kind of this as a utility vest. All right, then you've got two kind of drink holders and stuff holders inside here. Uh, I'll probably be, I don't have it with me, but I'll probably be testing this out for my gimbal as a space. Interesting, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven big pockets in the front. On the side here, look at this. Little slip pocket, Metro cards and such. On this side, a pin pocket and another small pocket, hook and loop compatible. Nice, a little bit of give in that one. All right, so first impressions of the outside of this bag, quality is amazing. It'll be interesting. It's certainly the opposite of waterproof and weatherproof with so much mesh on the bag. So, and then I'm interested in seeing what the utility of these top two pockets are. I love the look. We'll see how useful they are. Uh, I should also say, Everything, the, the zippers, the everything feels super insanely well built out and heavy duty. Not a string pop anywhere on this sucker and Harvest Label has a lifetime warranty as well. Um, the whole focus of the brand is craftsmanship. Yeah, amazing. All right, inside, what do we have? We have a laptop sleeve. Very well cushioned, should fit my laptop with no problem. 
and then you have a kind of a main cavernous section here and this is another defining feature of this bag look at this pop four snaps this thing pops out so the internal storage is one two three pockets on the front of the bag and then When you want to take the bag with you, let's see if this is how you do it. Boom, boom. And then you've got attach here and attach here. And then you've got a little crossbody bag to take with you out and about. Really small little satchel then, um, but with all the internal storage. So it'll be interesting to see how I end up using this, but this is how it sits inside the front of the bag. Whatever you put in here, you can pull out and turn into a little just grab and go, um, you know, power cords, one tiny power bank, uh, wallet, etc. Interesting. So. It'll be interesting to see how I end up using this, but I really love the concept that you can pop out your organization and carry it with you as a crossbody bag. Neat. All right. So that's the first impressions of the bag. The whole thing is insanely well built. Oh, wait. Guys, I just found another pocket. Back here on the back, we've got a passport pocket. Cool. Did I miss anything else? I mean, all kinds of attachment points back here. Cool sternum strap. I mean, really nice metal buckle on that thing. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen a buckle like that. That's really cool. Really cool. All right. So, everything top notch. That's my initial first impressions. Love the way the bag retains its shape. Love the way it stands up on its own. Super, super beautiful. Can't wait to review this one. Uh, be, look on, be on the lookout for that. I'm going to test this bag out for multiple weeks and then I'll have a verdict. You know, this is an expensive bag. It's handmade, it's handcrafted, it's beautiful. Um, is it worth it? I'll let you know. I hope you enjoyed seeing my first impressions of this bag. I'm in love with it. I can't wait to use it. Um, and I can't wait to put it through uh, its paces. But uh, guys, thank you so much for checking in today and for checking out the Harvest Label Flyers 70XX backpack with me. Um, I'm intrigued, I hope you are too. Full review on the way. Be sure to subscribe and you won't miss that. We'll see you next time, Wanderers. Bye for now.